Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to say lads, but then I thought, let's not get accused of being sexist in this day and age. Oh, let's not. With all the pandemic that's going on in the world, let's not be accused of that if this video gets any sort of views. So, let's crack on. Now, a bit of a different one today, boys and girls. I wanted to make a video on Call of Duty Warzone and five tips to get better at Warzone. I think I've played enough now to figure out what sort of works to get kills, what sort of doesn't, what works to win the game, what doesn't. I've played around 7-8 hours now. I feel like I've got to grips with the main gameplay mechanics, how it's similar to uh, Black Ops 4's Battle Royale mode, how it's similar to PUBG, and so I've, I've got that many hours on Battle Royale games in general. I just want to pass on my tips to help you win the games and help you do better if your teammates are absolutely shit. Because let me tell you right now, there's only one person I know that I've been playing the game with in terms of my friends list. He's good. Every si When he's not on, every other single person I've been getting matched up with, they suck donkey dick. So you've got to rely on yourself, boys and girls. You've got to rely on yourself. You can't be relying on your teammates. So sit back, relax, get a bag of popcorn, a bag of crisps, some M&Ms, a chilled beverage, and enjoy this video. And take the tips in that I'm saying. I'm 100% certain they will help you become a better Warzone player. Now the first one, I see so many people making the mistake is, if you're jumping out, yep, and the location you're going is straight below the plane, or it's within seeing distance, it's a straight line, it's not the other end of the map, don't pull your parachute until the last minute. Do exactly what I'm doing here, lads. So as soon as you drop out, you cut the straps, and you pull the parachute at the last second to get down first. If it's straight below the helicopter like this, you don't want to be one of the last people there. You really don't. If you do, you're putting yourself at a bigger disadvantage uh, than everyone else, straight off the bat. Now, I can already hear some of you, oh, that's a stupid one, a couple of people don't do that. Well, I've been in games and some people don't. They pull the parachute as soon as they drop. So... Nevertheless, that's in there. That's a tip. If you're a complete noob, it'll help you. If you're not, calm the fuck down. Now, this next one, I thought everyone knew this, but apparently not. So, when you're, when one of your teammates dies, you get the chance to go to the Gulag as a prisoner. You fight one-on-one. -on -one. If you don't win, uh, you die. But your teammates can fetch you back for $4,500. Now, the amount of times I've been in the game and I've died... And the person's got about 10k and they've not even brought me back. You can mark the nearest respawn station by pressing the left alt if you're on PC. You can press it tons of times and it shows uh, your remaining teammates all the respawn stations around. And all they have to simply do is walk up to it and purchase you back for 4,500. You then get dropped in. It's just like you come off a plane. You come down a parachute, you can land wherever. Simple things that people don't do. It, if you've got teammates who are still in the game, the game to win is going to be easier if there's two or three of you. If they're just on themselves and they're not fetching you back, it's going to be harder for them. That's, that's without a doubt. Now another simple tip. Really simple, really effective. So just, just do it. Just fucking use it. Now this is one I've seen so many people neglect. Literally every single person I play with never does this. And I'm like, why? You're getting all this money, and it just sits there, and then when you die, someone else takes it, and someone else buys what I'm about to say in this tip. Now, when you get the money, if you've got no teammates left that you can't buy back to respawn, like in this game, the teammates I was playing with left because they died. I would have bought them back, but clearly they got the attention span of a toddler. Now, when you go to the nearest buy station, purchase a self-revive kit. I cannot say how vitally important this is especially if you're playing on yourself it's the difference between the game being over and the game not being over if you've already been to the gulag you've got no other chance if you get downed and you're on yourself the game ends if you get a self revive kit when you get downed if, you, if you're in cover you can revive yourself vitally important just just fucking buy it lads just simply buy it. just do it just just buy it it works it's great i mean if there's three people around you, you're probably fucked regardless. But if you get shot by a sniper from bloody 600 metres away, you can revive yourself and start healing yourself and get ready for the fight. It's just important, so please just make sure you buy yourself revive kits. Now, tip four. This one works for me every time. 
and playing solo. It's the only way you can sort of win if you're playing solo. Stick to the circle. Just like in PUBG, run as the gas is coming in. Be the last one on the outskirts. If you're playing around built-up residential areas like this with houses, stick to the circle. If you're on a hill or the end zone's on a hill, then I'm talking different. But if it's in a residential zone like this, stick to the outskirts of the circle and it'll make sure you're not getting shot from behind. Because no one's going to be in the damn gas unless they've got a gas mask. And shit, when it gets this late in the game, the gas mask only lasts two damn seconds. So stick to the circle, move with the flow of the circle, provided it's not on a hill. If you're in a residential area like this, move with a circle. I guarantee it will change your playing style and you will get more kills. Now this one's my personal favourite. I love the addition of the Gulag. I think it adds so much to the gameplay mechanics when you compare it to other Battle Royale games where when you die, you die, you're out of the game, especially if you play solo. In this, it gives you a chance to come back and get yourself back in the game and re-establish yourself as one of the top players. Now, I see this too many times in the Gulag. Like, people just rush. They run straight to the other end. My teammates do it all the time, and I'm watching thinking, fuck. And they just die straight away. Use the fucking grenades you get given. Whether it's a Semtex, Frag Grenade, whatever you get thrown into the Gulag with, use it. Use the Flash Grenade. No one uses these things. You flash them, then grenade them. It's so much easier than rushing and possibly dying. If you've got any sort of skill in the Gulag, I win 9 out of 10 Gulag fights by using the lethal. Using the lethal and using the flash grenade. Why does no one use these? Also, if you're in a team and multiple of you are in the Gulag at once, you can then point out where the enemy is to your teammates. It only seems to be me doing this. You can also throw rocks at them, which takes the health down by one. I know it's only little things, but little things like that are what change the damn game. They irritate you. I've been hit that many times by rocks by opposing players. Um watching in it's distracted me and i fucking died simple things like that put people off and it gives you a bigger chance of getting back in the action so do these things implement these five tips that i've said now ladies and gentlemen and i guarantee you will get more kills and possibly win your first game if you've never won one anyway ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy this video please hit thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if you didn't like it and you think these tips are shit Hit dislike, call me a bitch, call me whatever you want to call me in the comment section down below. Gets my engagement up, so I don't really care. Um, I love you all, and I will see you all in the next Call of Duty video. Peace. Another city for a show somewhere.